Hello! In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an animated GIF with Photoshop. Before we begin, let me share what kind of output that we are going to come up with. This is the completed animated GIF open in a web browser. It is an animated advertisement which will loop repetitively. Let's go back to Photoshop where I'll be using an existing Photoshop document that contains several layers. Remember, whatever composition that you are using based on this tutorial, make sure all your visual elements are separated into different layers. You should also name your layers accordingly. In this example, my Photoshop file has several layers as well as group layers. In a nutshell, we are going to animate our layers independently by using the timeline feature in Photoshop. The visual elements included here are photos, text, and shapes. To start animating, first, you will need to display the timeline panel by clicking the window menu and then choose timeline. Now, press the create video timeline button and you will see all your layers will be displayed in the timeline panel. You can preview your animation by pressing the button here. Before we begin, let me decrease the duration of this animation by moving the right marker to the left. Nothing happens here because we haven't animated any of the layers yet. Now, let's start by animating the photo of this girl here. To do this, select the girl layer in the timeline panel. You will see three parameters that you can manipulate. Click this clock icon for the position parameter. Based on the example, she should appear from the bottom to the center of the image. Drag the slider towards the end of the marker. Use the move tool to slightly nudge her to the top. A new keyframe will be added into the timeline. Drag the slider to the first frame and again use the move tool to place the girl at the bottom here. Now preview. Great, you have created your first timeline animation in Photoshop. Since I want her to stay at the same position for a certain period, I can move the end keyframe sooner here. Next, let's animate this text by changing its size. You can do this by selecting its layer and click this clock icon for the transform parameter. Drag the slider to the first frame. Press Ctrl T in Windows or Command T in Mac to resize the text. Press Enter or Return after the transformation, then preview your animation. Let me move the start keyframe here since I want it to appear somewhere in the middle of the animated sequence. Okay, looks good. Next, let's animate the opacity of the shoes layer. Expand the layer and click the clock icon for the opacity parameter. Move the slider to the left. Change the shoes layer's opacity to 0% in the layer panel. Let me move the end keyframe here as I want to display the shoes in full opacity for a few moments. Finally, I would like to create a rotation animation of this sunburst layer. However, you will notice that the image layer doesn't have transform parameter by default. So, you need to convert it into a smart object by right-clicking the sunburst layer in the layer panel and choose convert to smart object. 
Now we can play around with the transform parameter. Click this clock icon, zoom out by pressing the Ctrl minus in Windows or Command minus in Mac. Rotate the sunburst layer by pressing Ctrl T in Windows or Command T in Mac to resize the text. Press Enter or Return when you are done. Do the same for the start keyframe. Once you are satisfied with your animation, it's time to export it into an animated GIF so that you can post it into your website or your social media accounts. Let me zoom in the image a bit. To export, go to the File menu, choose Export, Save for Web, Legacy. Make sure the preset parameter is GIF 128 d and the looping option is set to Forever. Save the file in your preferred directory. Open your completed animated GIF in your image viewer. Thank you for watching and I hope you find this tutorial useful.